Coach Johnson, if you could open up with a uh, statement about tonight's game. Well, uh, it was a heck of a football game. I was really proud of our guys in the second half. Uh, you know, I think Wake Forest is a good team. I, I, they, they've they played everybody close all year. They're, they're really good on defense inside. And, uh, you know, to come out in the second half, the defense did a nice job holding them to three points and got some fourth down stops. And on offense, we were able to hit some big plays and get in the end zone. And, uh, you know, at times we can make it look scary with special teams and, uh, you know, but bottom line is 38 is more than 24 and you take it and, and move on. I thought that we found some things in the second half that we were able to do a little better with some counter stuff on offense, especially with the quarterback counter. He hit him for two long plays there. And, uh, you know, made just enough plays to, to win. Coach, uh, struggled a little bit on defense with the read option in the first half. What adjustments did you make in the second half? Well, we couldn't half? get lined up. I mean, we, we couldn't get lined up. And we, you know, you're, we had a couple guys out, but that's no excuse. In the second half, we did a little better getting lined up. We just talked about it halftime. Uh, you, you know, I don't care what defense we play. I just wanted to be able to line up. And uh, we did that, and some guys made some plays uh, defensively in the second half. You got Taquan loose in the second half. Yeah, we to had, make some they plays. were chasing the motion, and uh, he got loose on a couple of little quarterback counters. And he's really quick and elusive, and they had no backside fold player because they were running with the motion. So, you know, when we did it right, uh, it was a pretty good play for us. Not even knowing if Curvante was going to be able to play, and he ends up. 26 carries and over 100 yards again. Um, when did you have confidence that you could, you know, carry a big load like that? Uh, Wednesday, when I went up to him in practice and told him if he didn't practice, he wasn't going to play. <laughs> and all of a sudden, he came out of that red shirt and was going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> he's a tough kid. I mean, he he's a he's a tough tough kid. Um, Jaquan just. He made some special plays for you. You know, he got some really nice downfield blocking, but he just, I just showed again just what, what he can bring to this offense. Yeah, I mean, he's a uh, gifted runner, and, and, you know, I think both his long runs, Ricky really uh, kind of did a nice job blocking. The very first one, I, I know Shamir got a guy, I think it was Shamir, well, he pinned his guy, and then when we got the pull, both uh, Parker and Jahazel got fed up, and there was nobody else out there. Uh, and the last one was pretty much the same thing. Parker had to stop and go back. He really shouldn't have, but he stopped and went back and sealed the guy because they were so far down in there. And then once Daquan broke outside, he's got pretty good quicks.